Hi, today I'll be demonstrating the Freyer model for a vocabulary lesson. As you can see here, we have a graphic organizer with four different boxes, one with the definition, one with characteristics, one with examples, and one with non-examples. And then in the middle, we have the circle with the vocabulary word we are looking to define and teach. The word today is pliable. So for pliable, we first need to start off with the definition. So to find the definition, you'll look that up, but then I want you to put that into your own words. So for the definition of pliable, I've written something that is easily bent or flexible. So once we have that, we move on to characteristics, which are descriptive descriptive words that describe the word pliable. So for something to be pliable, it has to be flexible, bendable, elastic, plastic, springy, and stretchable. So once we found the characteristics, we move on to specific examples of what items are pliable. To start off with, we have a sapling, which is also a young tree, and that looks like this. As you can see, it's very pliable, it's bendy, springy, it's bendable, it's elastic. The next example is an eraser. You can look on your supply box and find the eraser and find that it's very springy and elastic. Next example is a sponge, as you can see here, is very bendy and elastic. The, next, the final example is a plastic cup. As you can see here, I can squish it and bend it, and it's plastic, obviously, springy, springs back into shape. So finally, we're gonna look at non-examples of the word pliable. First is glass. I have this glass cup right here. Obviously, it's very hard. It does not bend. It does not spring. It's not spongy or elastic. The next example is a desk. You can take a look at your desk and find that it does not bend and it's not elastic. The next example is screwdriver, which, as you can see, does not bend. It is very hard and not springy. And the final example I have is rolling pin. Also, does not bend and is not springy or elastic. So with that, I want you all to take your worksheet and come up with your own vocabulary word and then find the definition, come up with characteristics, and then examples and non-examples. Thank you. Good luck.